Hey, how's it going? Today I will show you the easy way how you can download IPTV Smarters app to your Fire Stick or Android TV. So first of all, you have to get an app called Downloader. You can get it for free from the official Amazon App Store or from Google Play Store, depending on what device you are using. And to do so, we'll go to search on your device. Here it is. Let's open the search bar and there just start typing Downloader right in the search bar. As you can see, there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app because the loader has already appeared for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader and that's the app which you need to get to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet, we still have to set it up. And to set up the loader, we'll go to settings. So click on the home button on your Fire TV remote and now let's go to settings. Here they are, click on that button with the gear icon, then let's scroll down until we see My Fire TV. Let's open it. And here we have to enable developer options for your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times. And do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom, for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and here turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on your device. To do so, we click on the home button on the Fire TV remote. And here's the application list. Let's open it. And here you will find the loader, which we installed to our Fire Stick. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great application for Fire Sticks, and they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is a great pricing. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, and from the moment you connect, all your inter traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online, which is extremely important if you wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. So go get those 4 months for free and then use the loader safely. Now we can finally open the loader application, so let's do it. Then on the left side menu, make sure to select home and then you see such a search bar here, so let's open it. And here in that search bar, I'll type a link, which you'll see on your screen in a moment. So here's the link, it's iptvsmarters.com, you need to enter it to your downloader as well. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see, because if you make any mistakes, the link is not going to work. And after you have entered iptvsmarters.com, click on go. And now in a couple of seconds, the website of iptvsmarters is going to open for you. And here it is, already loading for us. Now when the website has opened, we'll have to scroll down a little bit until we see the download section of the website. So let's scroll a bit more, and here you can click on that APK file to download the newest version of IPTV Smarters Pro. But if for some reason you want to get older version, it's also available there, just scroll down a bit more and you can have and download the older version of IPTV Smarters here on the website. However, in our case, we'll be getting the newest version of the app to our Fire Stick. So click on direct download link and now the download should start. Usually it does not take long, but of course, as always, the speed depends on your internet connection. Then click on install in the right bottom corner. And after the app has been installed, do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we don't need anymore. So click on delete and then delete once again. Now we have finally deleted the unnecessary installation file and we can go to the home screen now and then to the list of applications on our Fire Stick. Let's open it. Now it should load, yep. 
then just scroll down and here's the IPTV Smarters Pro app which we just installed. I recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Then press on move to front. This way IPTV Smarters is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be easy to access it every time you need it. Then once again don't forget to use a VPN to stay out of trouble when streaming something online and you can get 4 months of VPN for free if you use my link in the pinned comment below. Then let's open IPTV Smarters. Here in the app first of all you have to select your device type, which is obviously TV in our case since we are using a Fire Stick. Then just click on save. After that you have to accept the license agreement, so just scroll down and click on accept. And from here everything is pretty simple. If you want to add a usual M3U code, then go to M3U playlist and here add any name for your playlist and then either upload it as a file via the browse button from your uh, device or click on M3U URL and add here a usual link which you get from your service provider. So that's pretty simple. Also, you can use Xtreme codes, you'd have to select that option in that case. Here just add any name, then username, password and of course a link to your Xtreme code playlist. After you add the playlist, you can go to the list of playlists on your application and pretty much that's it, the app is really simple to use and straightforward. I hope the video was helpful, if it was, make sure to click on the like button and see you next time.